Hey guys, Possible here. This is a follow-up video, follow video to my previously mentioned uh, Windows Update stuck fix. Now, originally when I did the video, I wanted to keep it... I tend, what, what I tend to do is I want to keep my videos as short as possible without being too compromising on the length, but without wasting your time in particular. And unfortunately, when I originally cut the footage and the footage I had, it was far shorter than typically my narration would allow. So, in short, I, I had a video that, for the most part, didn't have quite as much footage and one commenter uh, mentioned that he had trouble following it. So I felt that, given how frustrating this issue is, I felt it was important to do a follow-up that would be precise and show step-by-step -step what I'm doing to fix the problem. Alright, so the first step, you're going to do a bit of prep work. Now the prep work you're going to have to do here is you're going to have to go and Google these two KB package numbers for these particular individual updates. Now these updates here are important as I found these are what seem to fix the problem and you will have to install them one, one after by after and you'll have to restart but there's something you're going to bear in mind before you start clicking on any of these and trying to install them and one of the things you're going to have to do is that when you finally, uh, when you're prompted to, don't open them, just save as and, in, and download them. Don't go and install them. Do not do that. What you're gonna, what you really want to do is just save it to wherever you want. Those two here. Now the first one that we're gonna, we're gonna do first is KB three one three five four four five. Now, depending on what version you have. You're going to have to look at the version that it is most important to say. Uh, give me a just give me a moment for a second there. Unfortunately, uh, plenty of people. It's amazing at bloody ten thirty in the night we've got bloody people with cars at raw and array. I, I, I to be honest, I don't necessarily like the uh, nightclub life. Put it that way. But back on topic. The pro anyway. You want to uh, address this particular one here. And the package number is once again KB3135445. And depending on which uh, version uh, you're running, uh, say with um, my case it was 64, uh, make sure you pick the one that best suits your system. And, inst and don't install it, just download it and save it. Then go off and get this particular one, KB2670838. And then download it and save as, and then place it into your directory. Once you've done that, we're gonna, what we're going to do is the next step. Now, I'm going to get to something important. There is something you're going to have to mention here. I have to mention this is, is there is something important that has to be done, a simple, but necessary in order to get updates running properly. But I'll get that to just a little bit later. What's important now is you go to uh, the Windows Start, pull this up, now hover over to Computer, and then right click Computer. Now you should have a list of uh, options and you wanna to go to Manage, or, and wait a second, and it should pull up this menu here. Now, when you've, first installed Windows 7 for the first time, I found that the tab options that were relevant to me only put, popped up as services, WMI and control. However, if not, uh, you'll find the necessary uh, uh, list by clicking services, uh, double clicking services and applications and going to services and you'll be given a list of processes that are running which may seem gibberish to you, but uh, fear not, there's only two that are relevant to us. And the first one that a lot of people talk about shutting down in a lot of these videos is Windows Update. Now to do that, you're going to have to click stop. And it should come with a tab, and depending on what's running, it, it should be either instantaneous or it'll take a, little, a minute to finish, and it'll be shut down. Now what most people don't actually mention is this one. Back, the background intelligent transfer service. Now, once again, the, in, the word intelligent is not lost to me. It's, the irony is quite extraordinary. Now, this one, 
I found was the next step in actually getting things to run properly. And what you're going to have to do once again is to stop it and kill that process just after you've done and killed the Windows update process. And once you've done that, just minimize your window. And now you want to go and click, double click on the update standalone file. Uh, which is KB3135445 and install it. And it should pr it work properly now and it'll prompt you to restart. So do the restart and depending on what happens, depending on what's going on in your computer at the time, you may either get a lot of updates actually coming down now or on the next startup you'll sh you might find yourself with this particular icon down here but it may vary from person to person depending on what's happening in the background. And unfortunately, Windows Update is so broken right now, it's very hard to estimate exactly what's going on in the background. However, if, you're, if you find yourself uh, now in this position where you've got this icon, now what you're going to have to remember, however, is that normally in my circumstances, I go restart because I'm usually doing a lot more than just pissing around with updates. However, I found restarting doesn't actually install anything. For some reason, I didn't do anything. It just rebooted the system. So what you're going to really do is just click shutdown. It's annoying to put the power, uh, the power button as an extra step, but unfortunately, that's what got, got it working that particular time. Now, however, I, even when I did that, it did some rollbacks, and there were some updates that weren't quite acquired or installed yet. Now... In my case, there was an optional one, uh, but unfortunately for me, it was compulsory because uh, I use a Gelt Elgato, and unfortunately, the new software for that particular capture card requires that you install this particular update, which is KB267-0838. However, it might be useful for you as well, because I found that after even doing this, I started to uh, get a lot of... Uh, um, uh, updates coming through and I think that's what seemed to have fixed it finally for me so we're gonna what we're gonna do is of course repeat the same steps as before so make sure you've got that there and haven't clicked or launched it yet click on the Windows update start button and then go to uh, you want to go you want to go to of course hover over a computer then go manage then you're gonna go to uh, services applications it should appear that way especially after you've gotten the initial part of the updates running and they've been installed even with rollbacks it appeared this way to me and then go to services once again and like before just go and find these two services now I recommend just going from Windows update first so shut down Windows update and then go and hit and stop background intelligent transfer service and once you've done that once again run the package it should work once again because you've, uh, you've killed those processes and it will install require you to restart do that and then by that point you should be getting this which requires you to shut down install updates and it should start running fairly normally after that if not there's an extra step that you could do now, I found that after getting the initial updates, I was able to access this information here and allows me to look at the KB package numbers and find out what hasn't been installed, what is necessary to install and to update the system and its security. Now, what you're going to have to do here is either take screenshots or record the num numbers down. Preferably, it'd be better to uh, just take, uh, take the time and get those numbers down in a document somewhere so you can easily just copy and paste into Google later on and get all that go to options as well because for me as well it found that one of the optional updates was not really optional it was actually quite compulsory and uh, grab those kb package numbers as well and any uh, language pack you need for keyboards depending on your circumstances and grab all that information and put it in a document or screenshot and keep that on hold and now now that you've learned how to do this particular little solution here in terms of processes, now you can just go into Google and individually doing one at a time. Now, this will, of course, be a pain in the ass. Uh, unfortunately, 
given what Microsoft has done to Windows Update, it's become such a buggy mess that I, I don't know I don't know what to say. It's it's impossible to get anything done properly in a timely manner, especially for someone who's actually does a lot of computer work, programming, for example, uh, working on videos, working on law subjects. It's unacceptable. However, I am not I, I do not want you to feel that I'm endorsing Windows 10 or Windows 8 or any subsequent uh, Windows because I do not feel that uh, a uh, that Microsoft should have access to your documents willy-nilly and be able to access them and, re and retrieve them where, for their own per personal use. I don't believe that's right. I also don't believe in the idea of a closed market uh, system for de uh, software development. I believe that that hot, that uh, stifles innovation. I believe that it, 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 every circumstances where a monopoly is created, things get fucked up. And it's unacceptable what they've done. And not only that, I, from what I understand from stories, they even had problems where uh, where businesses were finding had to do all this bloody technical work in order to get their printers running again. And it was halting business. I'm sorry, it's not. Windows 7 has probably been one of the most stable operating systems I've used to date, especially given what, what, what happened with Vista uh, a, few, a few years ago. I believe that it's it's perfect. It runs well, and it runs all my games. Now they can harp on all they want about gaming, but uh, that, that oh, they got, well, yeah, that, that too. They only learned that because of all that uh, that Spyro crap they've got in Windows 10, and it's just ridiculous. But like I said, I think it's the most stable uh, uh, that's to date. It doesn't cause too much trouble, and from what I understand, it's still got quite a few more years of actual. Support, well, not necessarily support, but they will continue to update and maintain it. However, like I said, I'm not endorsing Windows 10, and this is why I, I don't care how, how hard it takes. If you if it required and you need to do 151, do it. It is better than getting, getting letting Microsoft get in their grubby little mitts over uh, Skype contact information. I, 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 I'm just, I'm sorry, it's not good. It's unacceptable. So for me, that's what I did. Uh, it got it got everything running for me, and I haven't had too many problems since then. Uh, well, now, of course, if there is any other questions you have, I'll try my best to answer them. And anything that may be unclear to you, even now with this particular video, it, it's entirely possible. I've I've tried my best to minimize some of the distractions, but unfortunately, being a Friday and living in a uh, uh, a neighborhood with, with the surrounding nightclubs. Everything echoes up to my apartment and I hear everything, unfortunately. So I've tried my best to deal with that particular issue, but I've also, so if that's distracting and, or anything in the video is still unclear in terms of technical, um, so anything technical, do, do let me know in the comments section and I'll try my best to answer them when I have some time and help you get your Windows setting running properly now if you need to install it again. It's been frustrating for me, and I understand. And uh, do be patient with it. Even now, it's it's trying to um, waste my time with this. Unfortunately, it's not the best computer in the world. So trying to run um, XSplit and recording a desktop does does tend to slow it down. So it's buggering me with these prompts. But anyway, if you have any trouble, just let me know. I'll try my best to answer them. And. If this has been helpful to you, uh, feel free to sub and like. And I'll, in the future, I'll be providing, I'll be doing some videos on, say, clearing up audio, for example. I found a combination of two particular software pieces, which is Adobe Edition and Audacity, tends to produce some of the best audio. I find that using it in, in unison uh, together with uh, different features tends to uh, create some pretty crisp uh, and loud and adequate audio. And I'll also be doing, um, well, I'm working on some reviews, but unfortunately I've also, I'm pressed for time. I'm trying to catch up with a lot of work. A lot of uh, what happened with my uh, computer is largely why I'm backtracking on a lot of uh, research for law school. I, my external hard drive can put itself long before the warranty even, it's not even six months old and it started the click of death and I've had to get it recovered. I'm going through all some journal, journal articles and things like that. So... Hopefully, I'll get those reviews out uh, on some, a couple of movies, and uh, particularly a Nuke World DLC. I, 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 I have some qualms about it, as well as what, what I enjoyed about it. And don't get me wrong, it's a 
very good game in a lot of respects, but it's also a fucking buggy mess. And uh, anyway, I'll get to that when I got time and I've got uh, I've got enough. There's also I want to get around to talking about this recent development with YouTube's Hero Hero system. Uh, yeah, <laughs> interesting uh, method. They you, uh, YouTube definitely has a greater respect in a. Um, uh, they, they certainly have a lot of courage and faith in humanity to pla- essentially place uh, such extensive moderator status in the, in the hands of anyone. Well, I'll get into that, but the specifics. I've actually did some reading on what is required to become a YouTube hero and uh, what's available to you, and even looking at the perks, the perk tree. I'll have a look into that, and I'll do a video just discussing that particular issue. Uh, Anyway, if you found this video useful, feel free to sub, like, and I'll see you guys on the next one.